Hello everyone. Welcome back to channel Edu Pharmacy. In the first part of this video, we have discussed types of solvents and their mechanisms. Let's move ahead with solvation and association. Solvation or dissolution describes the interaction of solvent with dissolved molecules. If you see the IUPAC definition of solvation, it is defined as an interaction of solute with the solvent which leads to stabilization of solute spaces in the solution and it is expressed in the unit of mole per second. Actually, solvation is the process of reorganizing solvent and solute molecules into solvation complexes. Solvation of solute by water is called hydration. In the process of solvation, ions are surrounded by a concentric shell of solvent. The concentric shell of solvent is nothing but the solvation sheet which is actually solvent interface of any chemical compound or biomolecule that constitute the solute. When the solvent is water, it is often referred to as hydration shell or hydration sphere. Just look at the example. Water molecules arranged around a metal ion like sodium ion from sodium chloride molecule. Exactly what is going to happen here? The metal ion is a cation and the electronegative oxygen atom of water molecule would be attracted electrostatically to the positive charge on the metal ion. This results in the formation of solvation shell of water molecule that surround the ion. For better understanding of the solute-solvent interaction of solvation process, we need to study intermolecular and intramolecular forces. Consider the forces of attraction between solute and solvent molecules. If the solute is A and the solvent is B, and the forces of attraction are represented by AA, BB and AB. Here AA is the intramolecular force of attraction of solute which is cohesive force means the force of attraction between like molecules. BB is intramolecular force of attraction of solvent which is also cohesive force while AB is intermolecular force of attraction between solute and solvent which is adhesive force means the force of attraction between unlike molecules. These kinds of forces are not always equal or similar for all kinds of substances. Solvation is greatly dependent on such interactions. By considering this explanation, one of the following condition will occur. If AA is greater than BB, that is, the intramolecular force of attraction between solute is very much greater than the intramolecular force of attraction between solvent molecules. In this case, the solvent will not be able to break the binding forces between the solute molecules, for example, sodium chloride in benzene, where the sodium chloride crystal is held by strong electrovalent forces which cannot be broken by benzene and, and hence no solvation is taking place. The second condition is if BB is very much greater than AA, in this case, the solvent molecules will be attracted to each other and the solute will be excluded. For example, as in the case of benzene and water, where benzene molecules are unable to penetrate the closely bound water aggregates, which decreases the chances of solvation. Now, in the case where AB is greater than AA or BB or all the three forces are equal, the solute will disperse and form a solution. An example that illustrates this is solvation of sodium chloride in water. Let's discuss different types of intermolecular interactions involved in the solvation. It includes van der Waals forces, hydrogen bonding, ion dipole interactions, ion induced dipole interactions and ion ion interactions. We will discuss all these in brief one by one. Van der Waals forces include dipole-dipole interaction, dipole-induced dipole interaction and induced dipole-induced dipole interactions. 
डाइपोल डाइपोल फोर्सेस ऑल्सो नोन एज डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरेक्शंस और कीजम इंटरेक्शंस दे आर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेस बिटवीन टू परमानेंट डाइपोलर मॉलिक्यूल्स जनरली द पॉजिटिव एंड ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल इज अट्रैक्टेड टू द नेगेटिव एंड ऑफ अनदर मॉलिक्यूल एज अ रिजल्ट द टू मॉलिक्यूल्स कम क्लोजर एडिंग टू द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वंडर वॉल फोर्स इज डाइपोल इंड्यूस डाइपोल इंटरेक्शन और डिबाई इंटरेक्शन सम पोलर मॉलिक्यूल इंड्यूसेज अ डाइपोल इन एन एटम और इन अ नॉन पोलर मॉलिक्यूल बाई डिस्टर्बिंग द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अ डाइपोल इंड्यूज डाइपोल अट्रैक्शन इज अ वीक अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन अ परमानेंट डाइपोल एंड एन इंड्यूज डाइपोल द नेक्स्ट वन इज इंड्यूज डाइपोल इंड्यूज डाइपोल इंटरेक्शन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज लंडन इंटरेक्शन दिस अराइजेज फ्रॉम टेम्पररी वेरिएशन इन इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी इन एटम एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स एट एनी इंस्टेंट द इलेक्ट्रॉन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मे बी असिमेट्रिकल and hence produce an instantaneous dipole it can cause an induced temporary dipole in the neighboring molecule and it results in the molecules to be attracted this force is the weakest intermolecular force hydrogen bonding a hydrogen bond is an electrostatic force of attraction between a hydrogen atom which is covalently bound to a more electronegative atoms or groups like nitrogen oxygen and fluorine ion dipole interactions this is the attraction between an ion that is cation or anion and a polar molecule for example when sodium chloride is dissolved in a water the polar water molecules are attracted toward sodium ion as well as toward chlorine ion this process is also called as hydration of ions the next one is ion induced dipole interactions a non polar molecules may be polarized by the presence of an ion near to it that is it becomes an induced dipole the interactions between ion and induced dipole are called ion induced dipole interactions a cation polarizes the molecule by attraction of electron cloud whereas an anion polarizes it by repulsion for example in the presence of nitrate ion iodine molecule which is non polar get polarized as shown in the figure the last one is ion ion interactions Ionic interactions arises from the electrostatic attraction between two groups of opposite charges. They are also referred to as ionic bonds and they are forces that hold together ionic compounds. Now let's move forward to the association. When the interaction occurs between the like molecules of one of the components in a solution, the phenomena is referred to as association. For example, dimerization of benzoic acid in some non polar solvent like benzene interlinking of water molecules by hydrogen bonding is the second example of association when the water is mixed with a non polar solute it shows low solubility as cohesive forces is much larger than the adhesive forces it is the effect of association of water molecules let's see about the ion association ion association is a chemical reaction wherein ions of opposite electric charges come together in the solution to form a distinct chemical entity ion associates are classified according to the number of ions that associate with each other as ion pairs and ion triplets Again ion pairs are also classified according to the nature of interaction as fully solvated ion pair contact ion pair and solvent shared ion pair When both ions have complete primary solvation sphere the ion pair may be termed as fully solvated When there is about one solvent molecule between cation and anion the ion pair may be termed as solvent shared and When the ions are in contact with each other in a solvation sphere the ion pair is termed as contact ion pair This is all about solute solvent interaction from my side